Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week, where today I will be talking about the Forbes parakeet, also known as the Chatham parakeet, birds that have an interesting set of circumstances that have led to their intense conservation. I hope you enjoy. Forbes parakeets are one of two bright green, medium-sized parrots of the Chatham Islands, alongside the very similar red-crowned parakeet. Forbes parakeets occur at higher densities in forests and regenerating vegetation than in open grasslands. Despite this, as well as their rather erratic flight, they are quite strong flyers and are able to readily move between Mangaree and Little Mangaree Islands, a distance of around 200 metres. Individuals have also been occasionally observed in the southern forests of Chatham Island, around 20 kilometres from their respective habitat as well as on the neighbouring Pitt and Rangatira Islands. Birds' food supply is affected by seasonal availability and will consume seeds, flowers and leaves from a variety of plants year-round, as well as on invertebrates in spring, foraging on the ground in more open areas. Forbes parakeets have an extended breeding season, with eggs being laid between October and March. Like a majority of parrots, Forbes parakeets nest in cavities, often in trees, but also in rock crevices and under dense vegetation. An average clutch is around five eggs, which like all other Cyanoramphus parakeets, the genus the birds are a part of, is prepared and brooded by the female, of which the male provides food for her until the chicks reach 10 to 14 days of age. Thereafter, male and female parakeets then both feed the chicks at the nest until they fledge. While brooding, birds are strongly territorial around nests, calling loudly and chasing intruders from the vicinity of their area. Forbes parakeets appear very similar to the other New Zealand parakeets, especially the yellow-crowned parakeet, although the crown colour is not a reliable indicator of taxonomic relationships. Forbes parakeets were originally classified as their own distinct species, Cyanoramphus forbesi, although they were later thought to be a subspecies of the yellow-crowned parakeet due to their very similar phenotypic appearances. Since the implementation of genetic tests, it was found that the Forbes parakeets were in fact a separate species, on the basis of genetic variation as well as morphological differences such as size and vocalisations. These birds are believed to be descended from an ancient parakeet lineage that's reached the Chatham Islands before the red-crowned yellow crown split occurred on mainland New Zealand, after which red-crowned parakeets then colonised the Chatham Islands independently. Historically, birds were threatened by the extensive habitat modification and cat predation brought on by the arrival of the Europeans, disappearing from Pitt and Mangaree Island by about 1890, following the tremendous ecological impacts. Fortunately, they managed to survive on the small 10 hectare Mangaree Island, albeit at low numbers. Because of this massive loss in both population and habitat, birds became increasingly inbred on the small island, and attempts to recolonise Mangaree Island only resulted in them being quickly killed off by the cats now established. The population fell to a low of just 20 to 30 individuals, and with so few animals remaining, the future looked bleak. The massive deforestation on Mangaree Island also led to the environmental boundaries, like differing habitat preferences, no longer being in place, meaning that the red-crowned parakeets were now competing for the same food and breeding resources. Red-crowned parakeets adapted better to the creation of open farmland and were able to colonise these new areas of land, something the Forbes parakeets could not achieve. The results of this I'll get into later. Eventually, after the removal of introduced species on Mangaree Island, such as cats and livestock, the native vegetation finally had a chance to regenerate, allowing the parakeets to recolonise the island, although this was not the end of their struggles. Due to the competition between both the Forbes and red-crowned parakeets years earlier, parakeets of the two species had begun to hybridise, something that was not good for the Forbes parakeets, as their low genetic diversity meant that they did not have a sufficient and diverse population to combat against this hybridisation. As of now, the population of parakeets has reached over 1,000 birds, a thankfully large increase, with over 90% of the population being exclusively Forbes birds, and the other 10% being hybrids and red-crowned. 
To tell the difference between either a pure or hybridised animal can be difficult if you don't know what to look for, but a quick way to tell is by the crown coloration of the bird. Forbes parakeets have more yellow on the tops of their heads with little red, with slight hybrids having more red up the top of the head, with distinct hybrids having the red frontal band extending past the eye. These hybrid birds are closely monitored by the Department of Conservation, with occasional culls taking place until the hybrid and red crown birds reached levels that were not considered to be an immediate threat to the Forbes population. These hybrid birds do have a benefit to them though, in that they have markedly higher immune functions than pure birds, no doubt due to their loss of genetic diversity. So, while the hybrid birds do pose some threats to the survival of the species, as long as their population remains low, it helps that the Forbes parakeet has more genetic diversity present, as well as better immune function if in any case any diseases or viruses become present on the islands. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand Bird of the Week. For next time, you now have the option to vote for the Kermadic Petrel, a bird that with its coloration pulls off a very convincing skewer in order to get food more easily than they otherwise would. I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. See you later!